All right, so this is what I've been working on for Cat Interstellar. The name of the game is recreating real-world environments to, you know, it, to use in a game. Um, this is Huntsville. If you go east outside of Huntsville along 72, you'll reach this area, you know, a little bit past this town, Gurley, to an area called Paint Rock. Um, this is what I'm going to kind of be focused on. Uh, just to get your bearings, I would look for this lake here and then this kind of peninsula of trees. Um, you got some barren fields out here, um, some crops, some grass areas, but mainly this lake and this and this you know peninsula of trees that come out. Um, so Microsoft Flight Simulator came out uh, yesterday. They basically have the you know black sheep AI that recreates these re real world environments. Um, this is an example of that. This is the same area, ultra settings. Um, you can see kind of the fields, the road. This is my plane right here, parked, so I get some pictures. Um, but mainly looking at like the texture resolution as you get really close. You know, it's kind of this. I mean, you can see some stuff, some gravel in here. Looks like some grass. These are the grass models they have. This blurred area, this is a road. Um, it looks kind of funky when there's cars driving out here, but they have some logic that just makes the cars drive on it. it. It works, but it, I don't know, maybe that's asphalt. It's just colored like the surrounding areas. Um, this is another area. You can see this little lake out here and then that peninsula of trees. Plain. Here's that lake. Um, but anyway, so going into the Unreal Engine, um, we have that same little area. Here's that lake, peninsula of trees. Um, this is just the satellite image uh, plastered onto a digital height map. That's where I got the geometry for this. So even with this, you can you know, jump in here. First person. Uh, this road right here is just a, a spline. I just put this in here to uh, just to see how, how well you can match roads with this. Um, but yeah, you can run around. Obviously, there's nothing here. The textures are super, you know, pixelated. So if you ran up to these trees, I mean, you know, you can't really even tell they're trees, right? So the resolution of the satellite image, I think, is is a meter. So yeah, so it has an accuracy of about a meter. So the first thing I did was um, I applied some, I don't want to say, uh, computer vision but just some 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 neural networks to try to segment out the area and then that generated a splat map so this is a splat map uh, this kind of tells what you know kind of distinguishes between different things so red is crops uh, yellow is barren green is grass blue is trees uh, black is roads and white is buildings uh, so, so this is essentially how I'm coloring the whole thing so once you have this flat map, you can apply material to it. Um, now a lot of the materials for crops and for barren is just this this same kind of barren texture. Um, you'll see I populate it with foliage here in a second, but now you can run around it in first person, and you know you get higher resolution textures. Still looks a little meh. Um, we'll go back to the satellite image just to compare. So that's the satellite image. These are mat materials added. So the next thing I'll add is foliage. So these are just trees. Um, here's some crops over here. So I I'm I'm using some stylized textures and some uh, you know stylized textures and models just to just to for simplicity's sake. Um, just to keep some decent frame rates while I, you know, mess around with this. Uh, but you can see we're just running around this road. Here's a little grass patch. Uh, the textures blend pretty well, even if with a meter difference. You know, it doesn't look bad. So the next thing I did was I basically took that original, you know, satellite image. Let's let's go out here to this lake. Um, I took that original satellite image and then I multiplied the values of the satellite image using the, you know some world space shaders world space shaders again right 
So this is that satellite image, you know, plastered on some world space shaders, right? So as I move this, you know, you can see it lines up with the terrain fairly well. Um, as I move this around, right, it won't move because those that thing is kind of locked in world space. So that lets me align, you know, on the Z axis, like the color of something. So I'm basically taking this image and just kind of like coloring everything below it. So let's turn that on. Give it just a second for these shaders to compile. I probably should explain that part as these were compiling. Um, this will well, you can see the uh, you know the height map here. You know, it did a fairly good job of of capturing um, you know kind of the geometry. So you'll see along this river is like a tree line. Uh, well, it's not a river; it's a creek. Um, all right, but here, so here it is with that the um, satellite image plastered over it. So again to go back and just show you the difference this is normal materials this is materials with the satellite image added so you can see from a distance you, you can actually see I mean it adds a lot of kind of depth to it um, the other thing it does is it adds some randomization now I've applied this to everything so the trees have it the crops have it uh, the rocks have it e everything has this applied to it um, so as you go out you know it adds kind of this it's not it's not random um you know generally this would be you know the changes in these trees would be like you know randomized it'd be kind of procedural but this is actually directly from real information uh there's obviously a few bugs but you know but you can create a a forest But anyway, that's about as far as I've gotten with this.